and welcome to another Vlogmas video. Today we're going on another adventure. It's starting to get cold here in Southern Utah and we're heading up a little bit into the mountains, which it is full on fall up there. Today they're seeing the high is going to be in the 60s, but it's currently like 31, 32. So we're gonna drive up and look at the fall foliage one last time before everything falls from the trees and we won't be able to see it. A little bit more up north from where we're going, about 20 minutes or so from where we'll be today, they actually have snowfall, which is so exciting to think that we now live in a state where we can see snow within an hour's drive couldn't do that in Texas so that's exciting for all of us so we're taking you guys on the adventure today to go out and see some pretty sights and we're hoping to get home a little bit earlier than we typically do so that we can still have a very productive Sunday so come enjoy the day with us a man from Washington State USA made a working video game out of a pumpkin oh that's which, cool which the stem acted as, an, as the joystick the stem acted as a joystick? Yeah. Does it show you a picture of it? What? Yes. That's cool. Okay, tell me what book. Let's see the cover of the book you're reading. This has been a really fun one. Weird it's called, true. what is it called? Weird But True, How Me and Dan Way More Books. Yeah, that's a cool one. I like that one. That snow, wow, wow. I'll end up putting music over this or not, but ah, it's cold, but not too cold. Breathe in that crisp, clean mountain air. Mountain air. <sighs> so good for the soul and the lungs. Look at this red rock beauty back here. And over here too. This one. Oh, this is such a pretty trail. Obviously, we are home. Eventually, I'm gonna give you guys a home tour, but it's still certain areas of it are a hot mess, like this hallway. We've got pictures, there's a box back there that's still packed. My husband and the boys are out in the garage, working in the garage. The garage is still full of boxes. <sighs> How long have we been here? June, July, August, September, October. Almost five months. We've been here almost five months, and I still have boxes as far as the eye can see in the garage. It's very stressful. 
and it makes me not want to go out there and so I just keep the door shut and then nothing gets unpacked so we try to have fun today and enjoy the last little pop of fall goodness before it all goes away but to get back so that we could still do some productive stuff so I'm trying to catch up in laundry it's all right here behind me we're upstairs in a little inlet I actually have you in my cozy mystery bookshelf I love to fold clothes over here because I get to look at my bookshelf which I love so much maybe I'll show you in a vlog I have all I'll show you later um, and I put my phone up and I watch like a YouTube video where I fold and then I'm like out of the way so this is my favorite little folding station so I thought we could fold a little bit together and chat I've got so much to catch you up on um, where should I start I think this is going to be the third video so far for vlogtober so if you've missed the other two, we've done a fun fall day, which should be the first one. We did a Walmart haul, which should be the second video, and this should be our third one. Another little fall jumped up in the mountains. So I'm not sure what all I've said so far, but obviously I said that we moved. My husband lost his job during all of the stuff that was going on, or is still going on. Um, he previously worked for the tech department of a travel company. He had nothing to do with the travel side, but he managed a lot of the technical side of it. And when all of the travel stopped, the company was not doing so well. So he was let go from that job. It was a job that he was at for, gosh, maybe 14, 15 years, a while, a long time. It was kind of a shock, but also not a shock at the same time. And um, I remember whenever I come out of my class. I was teaching last year. I was an online teacher for my school and I think I'd come in at, come out of my, well, it's not a classroom, it was my bedroom. I taught from my bedroom on the computer on Zoom all day and I'd come down, finished out my teaching day and he had said, just out of nowhere, they let me go. They let me go. And I remember saying, what? It was a gut punch. We kind of had a feeling that it could happen, but to lose your job whenever the world is kind of turned upside down, it's very scary. Um, and he, what he does is a very specialized field. So we just didn't know what would happen. Uh, we waited for a little while. He took a little break um, and enjoyed some time off and then was given an opportunity um, for a position out here in Utah. And Utah <laughs> was never on our list of places to move. Um, it wasn't even on our list of places to visit. So. We had to do a lot of soul searching and really think long and hard if it would be a good move for our family, mainly for our boys. That's what we were really thinking about the most. We looked at the housing market. Okay, we're back. Sorry, my battery died and I had to switch the battery. We're done with the towels. I'm now on to some other whites. So yay for being productive while chatting away with you guys. All right, what was I saying? We looked at the housing market and um, it seems pretty comparable to where we were in Texas. Ha ha ha, little did we know. Um, we, or Kent, my husband, was offered this job in November of last year and we took some time to kind of think on it before he accepted and we had several months before we were actually moving. So we had a lot of time to research and make decisions and look at the market and a lot of things changed during that time as it has for the last couple of years. Things are just constantly changing, right? Anyway, um, we researched Utah a lot and we're excited. We thought it would be a great fit for us and for our boys. We really love to live a more active lifestyle. And in Texas, we have a ton of humidity and super, super hot summer. So 100 plus temps with humidity is not the funnest to be out in. Um, and we knew that Utah, the area that we were going to be in, it's hot, just as hot as Texas, but it's a dry heat. So it's easier to kind of be active and do things in a dry heat than it is a humid heat. So we decided, let's do it. There was a lot of fear and we decided to not let the fear control our decision that we were just going to jump in and go along for the adventure. I think what made us the most comfortable was that we didn't think it didn't have to be forever. Sometimes you make decisions and they're really big decisions and you feel like it's for the rest of your life. And whenever you make a decision like that, it becomes very overwhelming and perhaps you might not do certain things because you don't know the outcome, you don't know if it's a good fit. But we looked at it as this is gonna be a really great adventure, a long, long, long vacation and we'll see what happens, but we won't go in thinking that this is it for us, that this is just another chapter in our story. 
And so here we are. There's a lot more to that story. And the house hunting was not as easy as we had hoped it would be, as I'm sure you can imagine right now. And the market completely skyrocketed. Skyrocketed? Why does it sound weird? Completely skyrocketed? I think that's right. Uh, from when we first looked and what we could afford when we first looked versus where that put us at when we moved out here was like a complete different situation. Um, so we lost several houses to cash offers and um, we found a house that we're in right now, obviously. We love it, we feel very grateful. Um, whenever I give you guys a tour of the house in the future, maybe I'll tell you a little bit more about how we ended up where we are in this particular house. But this, this uh, vlog has already been pretty long today. So anyways, yes, that's why we moved to Utah for a little bit of an adventure, for a new opportunity with a new company for my husband. And life has just not been the same in the last few months. It's definitely been one big amazing adventure and I can say that we don't regret it one bit and we're so excited that we took a little leap and we are having a blast. We're having so much fun. All right, I'm gonna do a little montage here as I finish folding up this laundry. So enjoy some music. It's a new day. I didn't end the vlog yesterday. I didn't do anything exciting. You didn't miss anything. I folded clothes for a long time. And then I went to bed. So since I didn't end the vlog, I thought I would end it here. We are at a lake right now, fishing. It's early in the morning. I'm gonna end this vlog and start a new one so you can kind of come hang out and fish with us in the next vlog. But I didn't wanna just leave you hanging with the last one. So I hope you enjoyed our little fall jaunt that we had together and I will see you in the next vlog.